big story for me is John Waters is making his first film in 20 years uh, with Aubrey Plaza. I'm super excited about it. This just broke in variety. Uh, so let me zoom in on this. If you could share screen, Alan, if you could do that for me. Share screen. Yeah, it'll, uh, it's already in there. Okay. So John Waters returns to filmmaking after nearly 20 years to direct his adaptation of his novel, novel Liar Mouth. So I don't know anything about this. Uh, I, I'm super excited because John Waters is, he's one of the filmmakers that was sort of my gateway into indie film. I discovered him at the age of 16. John Waters, I wrote an essay about it in an issue of Film Thread back in the like 80s, early 90s. Basically, John Waters changed my life because I didn't realize how that indie film could do this. This is crazy. That independent film could be this, like, just, like, broke all the rules, mm -hmm. so far ahead of its time, very anti-censorship. -cens Here from Variety, legendary filmmaker John Waters is stepping back into the director's chair for the first time in 18 years for an adaptation of his 2022 novel, Liar Mouth, a feel-bad romance. I mean, John Waters makes fun of everything. John Waters also, who happens to be gay, and he makes fun of everything. Let me just say that. And if recent comments from him are true, he's not sort of down with a lot of the nonsense in the, the Wokarati. Waters, a pioneering independent filmmaker who catapulted to cinema infamy with bad taste masterpieces like 1972's Pink Flamingos and 1981's Polyester, will write and direct the project for Village Roadshow with Steve Rabineau producing. It'll be Waters' first movie since 2004's A Dirty Shame. And it says... Liar Mouse is, is the craziest thing I've written in a while. So maybe it's fitting that my novel was shocking enough to jumpstart the engine of my film career. The 76-year-old filmmaker said in a statement, thrilled to be back in the movie business, hopefully to spread demented joy to adventuresome moviegoers everywhere. That's awesome. I'm just like, I've always been a big John Waters fan. So to see this is like, I'm pumped about it. We're going to stay on top of it. And I'm just... uh Maybe I'll get him on the show. Maybe I'll get John Waters on the show. I've interviewed him for almost every movie he's put out. He's been in uh, frequently featured in Film Threat Magazine, and then I've also interviewed him uh, in the past. So, so there At you go. At least 20 years ago. That's... I interviewed him in the 80s, okay? Mm -hmm. Somehow I got his home phone number and called him, and uh, it was amazing. So there you go. So I'm pumped about that. All right. We do have a, a we do have a comment about it. Oh cool. Let's go to the comment. It's the last one. Okay. From Rumble, eight L is twenty four says John Waters should wait until product the pendulum started swinging back away from the woke nonsense to get back into filmmaking. He hasn't been able to shock anyone because the world is crazier than his ideas. I mean, I would agree with that. Um, I mean, but what can you say? And uh Want Biscuit says, my recommendation, if anyone likes Waters, I suggest watching Bill Maher's interview oh, with yeah. him. A random episode last year. I watched that. So yeah, good. that was great. That was a great Waters interview. Waters is hilarious and witty, amazingly sharp. Yeah, he's also been a frequent guest on uh, Bill Maher's mm -hmm. Politically Incorrect. He was on Politically Incorrect, and he was also on um, the new show that's on HBO.